Okay, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna do a um, probably two video walkthrough and then I'll just uh, post, repost this link um, on future videos of these packs. And so a lot of people have been asking me about it. I'm sorry, I don't really have the demos and all that. So I'm just gonna, so I'm just gonna kind of play through some of these. I'm gonna go all the way to the top and and sort of start with the A's, I guess. So. Air stage was just for those people that didn't want to deal with having the plug-in issues and so forth, but because it has a really nice Yamaha piano, and that's uh, like a resampling of that, and and it came out real nice. And then of course I got the uh, couple versions of the stage. And then uh, the AI synthesis was really sort of a continuation of the of the T series, which really the T series in my library uh, is coupled together with the wave station. A lot of people have it now, um, but what this is, with the exception of one sound that I that I borrowed from the, that existing library, these are all sounds that are uh, uh, from the M1 uh, mainly. And I'll just kind of go through some of these bottle bells. Fantasy. Kalimba. You have one organ. That's one of the sounds I borrowed, but that was it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I actually resampled it. But, but that sample is on the T-Series. Um, good old dance. And, and, and because the, the expansion packs can only hold so much data before it starts to bark back at you. So in reality, any of these packs can't really contain an entire library but you wouldn't want an entire library so it was tough to, to choose and then I have to admit that some of the choices that I made were either personal favorite sounds of mine uh, or sounds I thought would be complimentary to some of the other packs in here quick walkthrough um the uh supernatural arx drums uh that was actually a card for the phantom g and it was truly um the first version of supernatural which ended up becoming uh fully baked on the Integra. Okay. That's the ARX Supernatural Drums. This is based off the of BFD. This pack is called, um, it's hard to see, I know. Based off of BFD3. This came out really, really nice. In fact, I'll load this. Um, It's loading the whole library all at one time. It's about a hundred and some odd megs. It's actually not that big, but and um, BFD crispy. So that's what this sounds like. <laughs> Real tired, it's getting real late. So, um, and so here's a few of those. Are... So, usually I put one kit, uh, this is more recently, like this called Master's Kits, and it's got all the kit pieces, but the bank A is blank. 
so that you can just build your own kit uh, out of all the different uh, pad groups in there. And of course, if you go back, uh, for those of you that are, that are tinkerers, if you go back to like this kit, here's all the raw samples that are in this pack, right? Tons. And then here are the pad groups. And these are all multi-layered and edited and tweaked. Um, and this is actually part of the actual program. These are just the raw samples. For those of you that want to tweak, make your own um, percussion uh, suites out of them. So, uh, so let's get back to here. Hopefully I'm not taking too long. There's a lot to go through. Uh, and this was a continuation. This was based off the London sessions. This came out really nice as well. Okay, and that came out real nice. And that's I'm a drum fanatic, I percussion fanatic. I think that um, as you go through the different eras of music, drums have always been the one thing that sort of defined sort of that sound of an era. And uh, you know, the engineers that were recording the drums or if they were drum machines at the time, uh, truly, truly uh, had an influence on the sounds of the, of the era. This is a really interesting suite. Uh, it's called Digital Percussion. Um, let's see if I can zoom in. And it's based off of uh, stylus, because I wanted to have, there was a time when stylus, I, you know, I always used it. Are just chopped up uh, sections of audio. And I'm going to kind of show you what I'm talking about. So if I take these um, claps here, they're already, they're actually, I already have it loaded. Uh, so if I take these claps here, um, as a matter of fact, let me. Um, now I know I'm really getting tired. Let's see, let me just delete all these bars. Okay, I should have nothing here. Okay, maybe I might not make it through this video. I'm getting too tired. So I'm just going to record these uh, foot stomps. It's got them layered on the pads, like this. Right? No big deal. Okay, so if I go to here, I'm going to load this British funk from the BFD. Right? And so it's actually added really a lot of dimension. Like if I go into... Um, from the K5000. So let me get back to the tour. It's really easy to get away from all this. Okay, so I'm going to go skip these. Um, this is the Phantom G. This is the Fat Keys. A lot of people have this already, have gotten this Fat Keys. And I think I did a demo on it already, but for the, the new people, all lush stacks, right? And then, and then, uh, Phantom G. Okay. And then of course, the JD-800. And the JD-990. Fusion lead. <laughs> so, of course, Jupiter X. Okay, so this is turning into a lot longer than I thought, so I'm going to stop at the J's right here, 
and we'll have to reconvene another time. I'll, I'll start with the K5000 next. Um, so uh, I'll leave my uh, email. Just contact me if you are interested in, in any more information about these packs. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, um, peace out.